Sandra Gamares is the Director of Programs and Chief Curator here at the Ramey Modern. Uh, I've invited her today to come and give us a little bit of insight into some of the programming that's going to happen because while it is an iconic building, uh, it's what happens inside. So Sandra, thank you for taking part. Thank you, Randy. Uh, Tell us pleasure. a little bit about uh, the work that you do mm -hmm. and what we can expect to see in the next few months as the, uh, at the gallery opens. Well, um, we work uh, very hard to uh, be prepared and to open on October 21st. So we have uh, a lot of programs that uh, will start on that day um, that will involve and invite the community and uh, also people coming uh, from other cities and from other places in Saskatchewan, we hope. So we have, um, uh, with our team, the curatorial team, we have worked uh, to develop programs of exhibitions programs of uh, dance, music um, and community based uh, uh, proposals and also a lot of programs for families and um, uh, children. So it goes uh, really uh, in different directions uh, and uh, meets different kind of interests we hope because um, we will start with an opening exhibition uh, titled Field Guide that uh, I am co-curating with Gregory Burke and that exhibition will bring uh, together artists that are based in Saskatoon with um, other Canadian artists and with international artists. And uh, we were looking back uh, during the um, development of the concept of the exhibition um, to uh, bring together um, legacies from our context, from Saskatoon, but in dialogue with uh, other kind of conversations happening in our world today, so in different geographies. So um, I'm sure that uh, it will be very exciting for um, our community to come and to see uh, works that they know already from some of the major artists from this community alongside with uh, unexpected proposals that uh, will uh, be only on show in Saskatoon. So we are bringing major uh, artworks by major artists uh, that were never shown here. At the same time, I would like to highlight, for example, um, the presentation of a major work by a Canadian artist. His name is Stan Douglas. And we will uh, show for the first time in Canada one of his major pieces uh, titled The Secret Agent. But um, so it's an immersive installation, for example, that could be experienced bringing uh, the idea of film and music uh, in a very dynamic manner. And uh, uh, we will have much more than that, of course, so different kind of proposals, mediums that will challenge our um, perception, let's say, in terms of experience uh, of art um, together with the building. But um, I would like also to highlight, for example, that during the opening uh, weekend, we will propose a um, uh, um, choreographer um, coming from um, Greece but living in um, uh, New York, her name is Maria Sabi, and she will be, um, let's say, proposing a um, uh, performative uh, project in different spaces of uh, Remy Modern, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, those days where we will be able to welcome everyone because they are free, uh, we will have also uh, downstairs in the ground floor in the free gallery uh, a proposal by two Canadian artists um, that are indigenous, Tanya uh, Linklater and Duane Linklater. And uh, they were doing a research um, uh, in our collection. And so it's a kind of an archaeological work or uh, an excavation um, th that is done inside our museum. They went, they have done research, they have selected some uh, artworks by artists that we all know here in the community like Laurie Blondo or Who's Cut End. And they are developing a project titled Determined by the River, so in relation with Saskatchewan River. And uh, it will highlight a lot of histories um, that uh, are related, you know, with um, uh, the movement of the water and uh, the context of Saskatchewan. And as part of this project, um, in November the 3rd, 
they will create also uh, what we call a weekend of events with films, with conversations, round tables, in order to uh, expand uh, the reflection around uh, stories, indigenous legacies, um, history, trauma, but that I'm sure will challenge uh, in a very meaningful manner um, our uh, audience and uh, and so we are uh, very proud of um, this first start but um, I would like to say that at Remy Modern we have worked um, uh, in the direction of uh, um, showing through that first exhibition the direction of our program which means that um, we will have um, just the week after the opening, for example, every Friday, a uh, film in our theater. So we have developed a program of cinema that we call Cinema at the Museum. So every Friday, we can see um, a film related with the history of cinema, but also uh, that can enter in dialogue with our exhibition. And uh, we will have also uh, every two weeks and um, on Tuesdays, uh, meetings um, related with, uh, for example, a book that we invite our public to read and then to come and share um, their thoughts uh, together, so um, near the fireplace. And, uh, and of course, uh, during the course of the, the year, uh, um, but also immediately after our opening, we will have uh, a lot of proposals for families and uh, tours that are available on Sunday to welcome uh, all the families with also drop-in programs at the Learning and Engagement Center. So Remy Modern will be really a place where uh, a lot of different um, uh, actions uh, and programs will be happening um, every day uh, and different ones. So it's about diversity and uh, we really want that everyone feels at home and that everyone will find an interest, you know. It's really about uh, um, being inclusive and uh, we are having that in mind even in the development of ideas of our programs for different kind of ages, different kind of interests. I'm sure that people that is more interested in music will find uh, very interesting the program of music that we will be developing. Those that are um, lovers of cinema will find a place to come and see uh, historical films and of course uh, the others that um, are um, lovers of art will find also the right place to meet but I may say that what we would like is to bring the ones that are not yet lovers of art uh, and um, give them a chance to uh, be confronted with uh, the power of art and uh, probably leave the museum with uh, you know uh, new avenues that uh, will make them thinking and uh, and coming back because our wish is really to make them coming back in a regular manner because um, as I was speaking about Tanya and Duane in the ground floor their project will start on October the 21st and it will be until January the 7th and just after we are uh, bringing um, uh, Thomas Ischorn a Swiss artist uh, living in Paris he was already in Saskatoon last year for what you call field work. So he was meeting a lot of uh, associations, organizations, uh, and start, you know, uh, researching about the history and meeting persons, because this is the most important for him, meeting um, uh, real persons that are living in our community. And he was back now in September, so he's continue what you call the field work. And he will be back in November, and then we will have the culmination of the program and uh, it will be in the free gallery in the ground floor and it will open on January the 27th and uh, it will stay until February the 25th. So at that moment the project will be really to welcome a lot of people and to share um, their knowledge because the title of the project is what I can learn from you, what you can learn from me. So it will be like a, a, a major project that we are developing here uh, in Saskatoon because it will be for the first time in Canada 
a project by this artist Thomas, uh, a presence and production. So it's really something very particular in his practice because presence and production means that the artist will be present during the entire duration of his uh, proposal and you will be meeting people and uh, I don't want to unveil a lot but everyone will be invited just to drop in and to share uh, ideas and uh, to be part of uh, that major artwork. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of proposals. We uh, work uh, with a wonderful team at Remy Modern and uh, we have been preparing this uh, major moment. Uh, it's so exciting for us and uh, I hope that it will be exciting also for uh, our community and uh, for uh, all the audiences also in Canada and um, from other places because I may say that we are receiving a lot of very good feedback uh, from artists, colleagues uh, that will come also for our opening and that are supporting our project. And uh, one of the major highlights just after our opening exhibition, Field Guide, will be um, an exhibition by Jimmy Durham in partnership with uh, major institutions also. And so it will be also a way to create a platform again to think, meet and uh, share, share ideas and share thoughts and uh, share time. This is uh, what a museum uh, should be in a very dynamic manner with different proposals, but a place that include everyone. Sandra, I, I think you've got this place pegged perfectly and I wanna thank you for uh, the vision that you have and it's uh, again a testament to all the work that's gone on here with the staff and as Mr. Burke alluded to, it's not just a place for paintings. It's going to be a very interactive place. I want to thank you for your time today, and we wish you the best of luck in the future here. Thank you so much. I hope to welcome you very well soon. We'll be here. <laughs> thank you. That's our show for today. I'd like to thank our guests, Gregory Burke and Sandra Gamaris from the Remy Modern. I want to thank all of you for watching. I'm your host, Randy Shabalo. We'll see you next time on Connect. <laughs>